Hey guys, how are you? So I am on my front porch and I have got two gorgeous Boston ferns that I'm gonna be potting up there. I do that every year. It just gives it such a beautiful southern veranda look. It's just gorgeous and I absolutely love it. I do treat them as annuals because I don't really have a space to overwinter them. They absolutely can be perennials. And one year, I think last year or the year before, I actually dug them out of there and cut them into several sections. I gave some away, I kept some, and I just am not in the mood to do that this year. I just treat them as annuals. So I'm always on the hunt for bargains for them because I don't use them as perennials. I don't save them year after year after year. So if I'm just using them as annuals, I try and find the best price possible. So I did manage to find these guys on sale, so that was a good, good thing. The other things that I'm going to plant up are my hanging baskets. They're also watered by drip irrigation, which is really great. Once I get these planted up and hung, I'll show you how I set up the drip and how it just kind of comes down into the basket. So it's really cool the way it's set up. So these are my baskets right here kind of a gray patina and I have these begonias going in aren't they so beautiful some of them are aging out I go with begonias because the front of the house faces east and so it only gets morning sun so I just want to be able to you know give it as much sunlight as it requires and then the hottest part of the day it doesn't get the hot heat because it really cannot handle it and then the other thing I have is my trailing plant called Goldilocks that can do part shade as well so they'll do really really well and they'll trail down over the front of the baskets and they'll just look really really good I only got one because typically only the one side really shows to the outside world um, and that's plenty because these can get really big and um, really long too I might have to trim them towards the end of the season but we'll see so down there somewhere are my black cords that I pull around um, my black drip and it comes up from the back and it winds around when I'm all done I'll show you where everything ended up and what it looks like and then also I want to show you how I have the drip set up okay so I've got everything cleaned up for the most part um, you saw where I um, got the drip lines um, I'm gonna turn it around real quick I got the drip lines from down here and I threaded them around to right here and they go into into this plant okay and then they keep coming around and then they feed into this plant right here because they've got emitters on the end it's got a one gallon per hour on the end here this is if i can find it, there you go right there and it's um it's on a quarter inch drip line and it will just drip for like you know 15 minutes or so every day and that is enough to um, water these ferns. Now, I sh said I'd also show you how I got it set up on my hanging baskets. So basically down here, we have, these are all my hostas, but you see where that black line is right there. That is a half inch poly supply line. So it's also supplying water to the rest of my um, hostas down here so then what I did was I just teed off of it right down there this um, this half inch or this quarter inch line there's no emitters on it it's just a solid line and I teed off from that supply line and so then the water then can come all the way up and then it goes all the way up to there and then I have it coming across and I have it hooked in there and then you just use a coupler and then pull it down into your baskets so that i went with black because i knew that um you know these uh hooks were black so it comes off of that half inch supply line and then a half inch down and then it has a an emitter 
you can see that right there okay and you just drop it down in and that's how so I have it all along here and it drops down to that hanging basket then all the way up there and it drops down and then I have it coming all the way across to there and then I have an end plug on the end or it's called a goof plug and it just ends the supply line because if I wanted to I could keep it going and come over here and put another hanging basket here yeah so I'm happy that's done and I'll be on to the next I've got um, I've got some sunflowers some little short sunflowers I want to plant up oh and I want to show you some other things that I have now uh, yesterday I got a 10 pack shipped of more boxwoods so I have 10 of them and my dad just took out um, a huge bush there and there and accidentally cut the supply line right here so we'll need to do some mending um, but that's not a big deal anyway so i want to uh, get some more uniformity to this garden bed and so i'm putting in 10 boxwoods and these are green mountain green mountain boxwoods and they're just so beautiful so i have um i got a 10 pack so and i'm going to be moving two of these roses the one back there and the one up here and i'm going to put them back in those spaces and then i'm going to keep this one where it is and cross my fingers that they don't shock and die because aren't they just spectacular these are the proven winners at last roses oh they are the most beautiful roses and this is their going on their third season second or third season i can't remember when i put them in so anyway so then i've got i'm going to put one box with there one where this one where this rose is and then one there and then i'm going to space these two out to cover this space and beautiful rose bush my husband bought me last year is loaded loaded and it's a white but it it starts out kind of kind of pink and then kind of yellow so it's interesting but it's gorgeous and then these two boxwoods i'm going to space out here two more here and then possibly this one to end cap this garden bed so i'm trying to get it so that it looks a bit more tidy a bit more uniformed if you know what i mean and um so yeah that's what we'll probably i'm hoping to get well i'll definitely get them in this week um i don't know if i will tomorrow but hopefully definitely this week so anyway all right well that is it for today so i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you're having a really great day and i'll talk to you in the next one bye